Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The Republicans' top vote-getter tells KUAM News she anticipated she would have a hard time becoming the minority leader because she didn't support the BOTA team. Senator Mary Torres today speaking out on the controversial Republican caucus that saw Senator Will Castro and BOTA loyalists take minority leadership positions for the incoming 35th Guam legislature. Yeah, I anticipated it, but you know, at the same time, too, I was getting a lot of people reaching out to me saying, hey, you know, if, if we're going to rebuild, we really need you to help. Republican Party Chair Jerry Chrysostomo told KUAM News in an exclusive report that Torres should have been the minority leader. And Torres agrees, saying she had what it took to lead Republicans at the Guam Congress Hall. The experience, um, not only the tenure, but also the successes of, of being a sen- that I've had being a senator, plus my success in the bipartisan reach, not only with the leadership now, but potentially with the incoming administration, that's a huge plus. Torres did not support the losing Republican team of Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio and Tony Atta. And we asked her if that was why she was left out of leadership positions after caucus. Absolutely. It's just, it's, it's really a matter of trust, I think. And, and um, I was made to feel that I wasn't chosen because I couldn't be trusted by them. Well, Torres did admit she attended Lou and Josh campaign events, but she says she wasn't the only Republican who did so. You show up where the crowds are and... Um, you show that you know that, that, that you're humble enough to ask for the vote of the of the other party, and uh, so I wasn't the only one that showed up. Torres said when she saw the writing on the wall in caucus, she went with it, voting for Castro as minority leader. I'm not gonna um, be bitter, and I'm not gonna you know not go along with the vote if that's the consensus of the group and you know sometimes we lose and that's fine. While Torres did say she felt she would have been the best choice for minority leader, she's more upset that she was listed as a minority member on the GOP's press release about the caucus. Torres said that release seemed to rub in that she was shut out of leadership by her colleagues. And it's not even a legitimate title. So why why have to do an official, you know, uh, press release Putting in something that wasn't even part of the discussion is not even part of the agenda. And really, it, it, it's very uh, condescending. Autora said the events that took place in caucus come with the territory. Some people in politics tend to be very narcissistic and ambitious and... and uh, I see through all of that. Torres, the most senior Republican senator, said she'll continue to work with her colleagues on both sides of the aisle. And when we asked if she was confident in Senator Castro's leadership, she stopped short of saying yes. I'm just going to go with the flow at this point, Chris. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.